Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Coco and Kimi are here with Leif Leif from Cacophony of Games and Buttons. We are continuing the letter. Zach is still best boy. <laughs> he or yeah. wish would be. Thanks, Zach. Maybe next time. Food is not really what we came here for. I... we... Ash... he's the one who... Alright, hold on. Food may not be what you came here for, but Ash fucking helped himself to it. Mm-hmm. The dude thing, I swear to god. Fucking asshole. She casts brief glance at Ash, and in an instant, he sits up. Every trace of amusement is gone from his face as he clasps his hand in front of him and leans forward. Give me the robot, Shinji. <laughs> A minuscule gesture meant to mm, mm, a minuscule gesture meant to ease. Yet the grim expression on him tells a different story altogether. All right, you two, what's this about? I don't like those looks. If this has something to do with the other day, I really am sorry about that. It was rude, and I didn't mean for it to come out that way. A short but tense pause follows. They're both stalling. Who's dead now? Under normal circumstances, I wait. With these two, the more you force it, the more they'll clamp down on it. But as a handful of seconds continue to slip by, the uncertain feeling in me also grows with it. What happened? Soon, it turns into impatience. Before I can demand a response, though, one of them finally speaks up. It is Ashton who first breaks it. No, don't apologize. I... I should have listened. You should have... What? How is everything with you lately, Zach? Oh, hold on, Ash. Both of you. Did I just hear you say that? Is this why Isabella's here? Has something happened? Calm down. We're just here to check on things. Liar. So, did you meet Andrew about the photos? What photographs? Said photographs had been. Has been? They should be had. Should be had. Yeah. Okay. I was. I was like, what? Said photographs had been sitting in touch since the day I dumped them in my drawer. Isabella goes very still when I hand her the small stack. To her credit, she does not flinch like I'm expecting her to, and flips through each of it in silence. But while her eyes remain strangely calm, her hands have gone rigid and her mouth has set into a thin line. She, out of all people, understands what this means. In hindsight, she should have been the one I approached before Ash. What did Andrew say about them? It could be one, but there's no guarantee it's a supernatural thing. It doesn't always happen, so that's a dead end right there. Now that I think about it, bothering that guy for this feels pretty silly now, but with the dreams lately... That's all? Did he say anything about the damn letter at all? Did you ask him even? I pause, glancing at him skeptically. I don't know where this sudden curiosity is coming from. But if Ashton, calm, cool, collector, always logical Ashton, 
takes interest in this. Something or someone must have fucked shit up somewhere. Or the war is ending. Seconds pass. The apocalypse I'm expecting to go along with it doesn't arrive, however. Yeah, that's really everything. Let it kind of slip my mind. The photos were more important at that time. There was some stuff about the local horror stories, though. Uh, talked about the curses, and he was really fascinated with the story about a wraith asking for a sacrifice to move on. Kind of nasty, if you ask me. But it does make sense if you simply go along with it. I'm not sure how this will help in the grand scheme of things. Why are you asking about this anyway? Rose's death isn't just a coincidence, Zack. It may have something to do with... I may have... Wait, wait, wait. S stop right there for a sec, Bella. I thought you ain't buying this stuff, Ash. Just the other day, you said the exact same thing. I still don't, but even Rebecca, out of all people, claims there's something. Whatever this is, someone has got to look into it. Everything about this screams shady. Are you sure you even have the time? Ain't you busy with your current case? What happened to Rebecca to convince her? Yeah, yeah. really. I got taken off that one. Oh you shit. You didn't say you were taken off your case. I just got the news this morning. Apparently the higher-ups think I'm doing a horrendous job at it. it AK money. Me. If these two cases are connected <laughs> like I initially thought, then regardless, I'm on the right track. Are you sure we should even be doing this? Doing what, exactly? There's some place we'll visit after this. Too vague for comfort. Fucking finally! <laughs> and please don't tell me you're bringing her with you. His affirmation comes in the form of a stare. But that alone says all, on the, all I need to know. But a point out gives him a pause, though, and his voice is thick with hesitation when he addresses Isabella. You know what? Zach's right, Isabella. You don't have to come with me. It's not myself I'm worried about. It's you. I'll just do this myself if it'll get you into more trouble with your superiors. At least I can make up an excuse why I need to be there. Don't be ridiculous. You're not walking in there without me. Besides, I think it's a little too late to back out now. Have you two seen the news this morning? I have what happened? actually. Oh no. Mama, Mama called and I was busy. The change in the air around her was small cannot have gone unnoticed, and it takes every willpower not to ask. Probably the only thing reining in my curiosity is the fact that Ash himself haven't brought it up either. No problem. It should be in the afternoon news as well. He grabs the remote and cycles through numerous channels until he gets to a news report about another guy who has been found dead in the early hours of the morning today. Hmm. Hmm. Who is he? Some dude. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'm just kind of assuming that he's one of the, the cleaning staff that uh, Rose had mentioned they had brought in earlier. Yeah. Probably. And that they were all missing. Born alive this time. Oddly, no fire has spread and whatever damage has been contained within the place the body was found. Mm. Weird. 
The room itself, however, has been completely vandalized. Because that makes sense after a fucking fire. Yep. Of course. Help me. Uh, is it like Zack saying this or is it actually like a voice? No. Whispering. Okay. It's Zach. Okay. Help me. Help me. Another murder, the authorities claimed. Isabel and I knew better. None of us ships, even after the report ends, but the room has certainly felt stifling. Ashton's eyes have gone hooded with what appears to be restrained anger, and the remote in his hand creaks mildly under his grip. The stone is back in my stomach. A tiny little thing ripping at my insides, growing with every passing second as the dread sinks in. In the thick of it, Isabella's voice is the one that breaks the hush. A small, weak thing on its own that wavers unevenly between words, but every syllable heavy with meaning. This is because of that thing, isn't it? I did this somehow. When it fades, all that's left in the air is her doubt and fear, where all we can do is to cope. Is there something I can say to make her feel better? Top option for me. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Are we kind of still fix this? Yeah. It ain't too late. We, we could still fix this. There's three of us here. God damn, we're gonna max out Isabella. <laughs> wow. We fixed you, Ashton. Idiot. Yeah, that's good too. <laughs> <laughs> that's good enough. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> If you count Rebecca. No, she's. Uh. She's staying away from this. She lifts her gaze at me, eyes steady and shoulders square as she holds it against the baffled look I give her. Although in the next second it immediately softens, and it takes me by surprise, nevertheless. In those brief moments, it's like I faced a different person. I don't want to involve her in this any more than I already have. Both of you as well. I already said it. That's completely out of the question. Stop asking. Still and all, that's two extra heads who can do the thinking. Between us three, I'm sure we'll figure something out pretty soon. Don't make this whole thing sound like it's a piece of cake to deal with. It ain't. But better than sitting around, yeah? Plan is still a plan. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot one day with that kind of thinking. We don't even know who's doing this. The last two murders might just be similar incidents done by two different suspects. <laughs> Hasn't stopped you from going after them before. Remember that time when you... Okay, stop right there. There will be no retelling of that incident today, Z-Man. Aww. Or ever. But I wanna know. <laughs> Keep calling me Z-Man and maybe I will. Good on you, Zach. <laughs>, <laughs> Suddenly, Isabella laughs. Good. The muffled by her hands, it rings light and easy against the thick tension in the room. Still a far cry from the usual cheer she carries, but brings a welcome shift in the otherwise dreary mood. Thanks, you two. I'll tell you about it when he's not around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Give it up, Z-Man. She's not interested. Clearly she is. Who says I'm not? Sweet. 
Ash makes a face, but circles at the gist despite himself. Why am I even friends with you two? I like this. Most of our worries ebb away, if only for a few moments. They take their leave more minutes close to sundown. But regardless of the lighter mood, little has been said of their plans. Only vague hints of what they're aiming to do after. While it ain't any of my business to know, something about this whole thing is still nuts at me. A tiny passing thought urges me to do something as well. At this hour, the streets are once again busy with people heading home after a hard day work. Little of the bustle matters to them as they step out the crowded walkway, however. Ash, especially. There's only his goal in his mind, and I wager there's nothing I can do to stop him at this point. He's probably decided on it long before they made the decision to drop by. But despite this, Isabella lags behind. A worried crease is back on her forehead as she watches Ash leave to get his car. Something wrong, Bella? No, I... actually... Can you take home Becca for me after this? I really didn't get the chance to tell her where I'm headed off to. Tell her I'm okay and we're... No, just that. That's all. You sure I should skip on that part? <clears throat> if she finds out about this, she'll be angry. I don't really want to deal with angry Rebecca. It gives me a stomach ache just thinking about it. <laughs> Neither do I, but I'll handle it if she gets mad. Just make sure she's safe and tell her to be careful. This is real reassuring. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Especially since something clearly went down with Rebecca at this point in time. You too. Take care of yourself. I... Hey, how come she's talking like she's gonna die? Yeah, I don't like it. Me like, neither. The, the words she's saying are something that someone says when they're like going into their final battle kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. And... Almost abruptly, she pauses, the gaze in her eyes hardening as she lapses into another one of those long, distant silences from earlier. This ain't just because of the whole fiasco with the letter anymore. I don't want what happened to Rose to happen to you guys as well. This one. This one cut deeper. Before I can ask about it, Ashton returns, casually singing his car keys on one hand and gestures at Isabella. Come on, we don't have much time. Shirley's waiting. Shirley's. Sure. Oh, right. Don't answer that. I don't want to hear it, you huge dork. Says the person who gave her stuffed toys names. Batcat? Really? It's cute. Yours is just weird. I'll see you later, Zack. She spared me another smile, and as I watch her walk off, only now did it occur to me that none of those she gave today... Mm. Only now did it occur to me that none of those she gave today ever did reach her eyes. I make a grab for the bag of Ash's parka. He staggers briefly before correcting himself and shooting me a confused stare. Is she all right? Huh? What? Who's okay? Isabella. She's been, I don't know, out of it today. 
Did something happen earlier? The scowl on his face says it all. She's actually been like that this morning. I'll ask, but... Just do me a favor and watch over her. We have no idea what we're dealing with. I don't know what happened to her since the last time I saw her. But from how she's been doing today, whatever it is, it seems like a pretty big deal. Wait, you didn't annoy her again, did you? Because I swear to God, if you did, you got another thing coming for you. <laughs> what? No. Why would I? Because you're a dick. You know, I already apologized for the one at the movie house. I mean, Ashton, you don't have to try. More of an apology, but I meant it that time. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'll take your word for it. But if you can find out what's bothering her, it'd be nice. Honestly, I don't think it's the letter this time. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Make sure you keep yourself out of harm's way, I. Right? I hope her papa's alright. I was just about to say I'm pretty sure her dad's dead. Yeah. True. Reckless, no. But I can't make you the promise I won't do anything. After seeing that, there's no way in hell I'm going to pretend there ain't a problem when there is. This is a really big one. And I'll be damned if I let anything happen to you guys while I sit here. I'm done running when things get tough. He's about to arc for a moment, but... Look, bro, if things ain't good, I'll be the first one out. But allow me this one thing, I right? Just this one time. If it doesn't work out, you'll be the first one to know. You can laugh then. Oberate me all you want. But please don't ask me to step aside like I'm incapable of doing anything to help. I have no idea if it is the look on my face or the tone of my voice. Ultimately, although his mouth presses into a thin line, he nods. And with that, we will wrap up this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye bye. 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 I'm I'm just like, I had no. I was just like, oh, it's sinkhole. What is that? And then it's death. death. Literally death. You jumped into death. <laughs> this sounds like me. Oh wow, that brought up a weird menu. <laughs> Hello everyone, <laughs> this is Coco and I'm going to be starting a new LP. This is Don't Starve Together and I'm joined by three friends today. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Uh, hi, I'm Shadow. I might have heard me before in the Ace Attorney video if it's been uploaded yet. Oh, that's probably but, uh... not going to go up for a while. <laughs> well then you'll see me in there. Yes. <laughs> You'll see time. me, you'll see us in the future.